Welcome back to the channel today and I'm your host Coach Evans and today we're going to talk about my top five interior linebackers. Um, one through five, it's a good list. Uh, we'll start with five and um, let's get into it. Alright, starting number five we have Devin Lord, linebacker from Utah. Standing 6'3", 237 with 33 inch arms, ran a 4.66 at the combine. But when you watch his tape, he's really he really plays a lot faster than that 4.66. He's a versatile linebacker that can can give you some edge rush, you know, in pass rush situations. Um, extremely athletic. That's that's his best attribute. He's extremely athletic. His uh, his reads are okay. His uh, filling gaps are okay. His uh, tackling is, is okay. He's just by far, everybody on this list, even though he's number five, he's the best athlete. Now, other attributes go into to being a good linebacker, but Devin Lord is by far the best athlete at interior linebacker, uh, at least on my list, um, and I think in the draft too at that position. Um, potential first rounder, I think he'll be, you know, a lot of people like him. I just didn't see what I thought I needed to see from, you know, I guess because people hyped him up so much, I didn't see what I thought or what I think I need to see out of him to put him high on his list. But there's some great competition on his list. So coming in at number five is Devin Lord, Utah. Number four on his list is Channing Tindall, linebacker from Georgia. And a lot of you probably thinking, how in the world is he ahead of Devin Lord? Uh, both of them are extremely athletic um, linebackers. Tindall, uh, 6'2", 230, ran a 4'4", That's uh, almost .2 tenths faster than, than Lloyd. And when you put on the tape and you watch Tindall, and because there are so many good uh, defenders on Georgia's front seven, you can kind of miss him. But the plays he made, they were textbook. Uh, being a gap behind, uh, when the cutback comes, making a tackle, shooting the gap on blitz. Uh, coming off the edge and, and going to get the QB, dropping in coverage and, and and not necessarily guarding tight ends or slot receivers, but being in passing lanes, so making the quarterback go different places. And the fact that he ran a 4-4-7 amazes me at 6-2. And he's not up here on this list because of the 4-4-7. He's up here. That helped him be up there. That helped. Look at the vertical, 42-inch vertical. That's nuts. Extremely athletic. Him and Lord both are athletic freaks. But um, he's number four on this list because if you just look at his tape, look at the plays he made. He made plays all over the field. And you know, he might be overshadowed because of Dean and 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 uh, Davis and Walker and Walker and and who's the other kid? I can't think of the other kid's name up front. Wyatt, but still, this cat's a dog, man. Cat's a dog. He plays extremely fast. And you rarely, when you see a guy that play fast, you a lot of times you see overrunning some stuff. You don't you don't see a lot of that. He's playing a gap behind, and when they try to cut it back, bang. He coming off the edge. He he if he if they stunt and he got C gap, C gap's taking control. If they put him on a blitz, he gets skinned at, at the point of contact with the O line and at the quarterback. Number four on the list, Channing Tindall. Which leads us to number three on the list, Quay Walker. <laughs> Another Georgia key. <laughs> um, 6'4", run a 4'5'2", from Cordell, Georgia, uh, Crisp County. I, and uh, one of the guys I used to work with when I first moved here to Tallahassee, Coach Quay, while he was at uh, Crisp County High School, and he, he raves about him. Uh, a great kid from, from what he tells me. Um, do anything you ask him to do, a hard worker, a tireless worker, a smart football player. And this comes from a guy that actually spent days upon days, months, years, you know, working with the kid. Um, 6'4", 241, 32 inch long, 32 and 5 eighths, 5 eighths inch arms. Um, 4'5", 2 with that size. Put this guy in the middle of your defense. And hopefully it's a defense that he can, can know front to back. And you got a guy that'll be there probably ten years. You got if he's your Mike, 
you probably shouldn't, shouldn't have to look for a mic for another 10 years, Bar barring injury, barring injury. He can do whatever you need him to do. He can blitz from the middle. He can cover up uh, when it's um, like Tampa 2. He can be that, that drop guy because of that length, and he's fast enough to do that. Uh, he can, you know, kind of mirror, mirror tight ends and help out in coverage of them. I'm not saying he can cover them, but he can help out in coverage with them, especially with his frame being 6'4 and 4'5. And he can blitz. And he can just straight up play the run. He can, he can see see stuff developing, see the scheme, and hit it before he get there. <clears throat> One play in particular, I think they was running counter. And he was the backside backer. So the, the tackle tried to down block with the guard and get over top to him. He gave the, the tackle like a Euro step and then went and made the play. Dude 6'4 can't do that unless they're in the NBA. I mean, he just run through him and run around. He gave him like a, uh, uh, and then went on and, and made the play. <laughs> I only got five linebackers on here. But all five of these, you know, what's so special. And he's no different. So number three on my list is, is Quay Walker. Number two on the list, Christian Harris from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. How in the holy hell the LSU let a kid of this magnitude get out of their hometown and go to Alabama. But anyway, ran a 4-4-4 at the uh, combine, kind of like uh, Moses Malone, 4-4-4. Six, six foot, a uh, half inch, 226, 32 inch arms. A lot of people don't talk about this kid that much. But when you watch this tape, he reminds me so much of like a, a Vilma, a Jonathan Vilma. So much of like a trying to think of a, like a, the linebacker that plays for San Diego, for, not San Diego, for the Chargers, Murray. He reminds me of Murray from when he was at Oklahoma. He reminds me so much of um, a college Ray. Not saying, not the, not projecting that he'd be a Hall of Famer like Ray, but he reminds me of those types of kids that dominate the game from his position. Now, does he benefit from having some massive hog models in front of him? Yeah, every every linebacker on this list did benefit from that, Ex with the exception of maybe Lloyd. But Lloyd had some some guys up there too. But fast, instinctive, uh, can blitz, can cover. Does a good job of covering backs out the backfield. Maybe not those backs with that elite four three or lower speed, but does a great job of covering backs, um, walling off tight ends, uh, dropping in coverage. Um, Listen when he had to, just straight up playing the run, outside zone, not overrunning it, inside runs, um, taking on pullers when they come, avoid, don't stay blocked. Anything that you can, that you try to coach up in a Mike linebacker, Christian does it well. He does it well. And it's, it's five guys on this list. You can almost flip a coin two through four. But the number one guy is, is undoubted. Let's get to the number one guy. All right, we're back with the number one kid in my top five inside linebackers. And for the most part, y'all already know who it is. It's N'Kobe Dean from Horn Lake, Mississippi. Uh, he's a junior, 5'11", 229, 40-time. I don't think he even ran at the combine. Let's see. He didn't run at the combine. But him running don't matter. Throw the tape on. Elite. And I just I saw Elite down at the bottom. <laughs> Elite talent. Um, anything so if you write a list you get on the whiteboard and so my my the best linebacker has to be able to do X say he can feel on inside runs Nicole can do that my outside linebacker needs to be gap sound and when the, when the ball carrier hits his gap make the tap Nicole Dean can do that my linebacker needs to be able to blitz effectively and not stay blocked Nicole Dean can do that my linebacker needs to be able to cover Running backs out the backfield. Kobe Dean can do that. Perfect linebacker needs to be able to wall off um, receivers and anybody that's in his zone cover him man to man. Kobe Dean can do that. So whatever you throw on the wall and try to say, oh, my linebacker needs to do it or should be able to do it, he can do it and at a high level. So there's no question, hands down, this is the best linebacker in the draft and people want to say he only 5'11 who gives a flying who cares 
That's going to hurt him in what? Jump ball situations? How many times is Mike Linebacker going to be in a jump ball situation? Again, like I said about Quay Walker. Draft him, barring injury, 10 plus year kid, middle of your defense. 10 plus year kid. He got great qualities. One, being a Mississippi kid. So you know he got out the mud, humble kid. And then two, he the bros. And you know, him being a bros didn't have anything to do with being on this list. But grew to the good bros, and the Kobe Dean's my number one. So y'all later, man. Enjoy y'all Friday night. We we'll back tomorrow with the top ten, my top ten DBs. Peace. Bro. Quick recap of the list. You got Devin Lloyd at five. Channing Tindall at four, Quay Walker at three, Christian Harris at two, and the Kobe Dean rounding out my top five list at number one. The Kobe Dean, University of Georgia, I think is the best interior linebacker prospect in this draft. Last message and then we out. Thank you to all the Patreons for subscribing and doing what you do for the channel. Chris, Miss Too Much, uh, MD, Alec, Jason, Jesse, Brandon, Mark, uh, Aro and Miss Antoinette. Appreciate you guys, man.